I'm just working late at night, seeing the Jake Garage, clean up the car and figured I'd give you guys a quick overview of the oil system and how I keep it cool on the track and keep it cool just daily driving and uh, how to do it up. So here we go. So usually if you're going to do an M3 um, style conversion for oil pump, you change out the oil filter housing with the M3 version which has the feeds on the bottom. And that's also popular which how, with that with the way to feed the oil to your turbo. But with this system, you get to keep the stock non-M M54 oil filter housing. It uses hack engineering cap. See this cap has two A-in fittings on it and a block. The centers of return and the two other are feeds. So you can usually put like a, a oil pressure gauge right here. That works fine. And it feeds over here into my thermostat. This thermostat's um, set for 185 degrees, but it still has some flow even when it's fully closed because it just flows um, up. There's like a minimum amount, so it's never like fully, fully closed. Um, it's all 10 a.m. I suggest keeping to 10 or 12 a.m. to keep a uh, pressure drop uh, mitigated. Um, that can hurt your engine performance and reduce uh, increase bearing wear. So it comes down here and we go into our big mama oil coolers. Just give you an idea what these are. These are in the wheel well. Obviously I have more room to move with than a lot of people because I have the wide, wide body kit. So I can go outside here. Um, it's a pretty tight fit, but you can easily, you know, if I didn't have this, I could probably move it in farther and stuff, so you might be able to fit it. And the lines go underneath. And over to this puppy as well. So these are CX Racing coolers. They're pretty um, budget friendly compared to a lot of the other options online, which are just a complete rip off. These were nice. All the brackets are made by us. We get some aluminum. And we bracket it up. You know, so these are pretty. They're not going anywhere. I don't suggest you need. I don't think you, anybody needs a special kit to mount this. It's kind of just always a free for all. Let's get some cheap aluminum, um, like little plate things and uh, some Lowe's or something. And you can make it. It's not that big a deal. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the same thing that CX Racing comes with. This is the intercooler bracket. It's basically the same idea. Just bend up some stuff to make it work. So yeah, down to the oil cooler, over, back, over, back up, back into the engine. Keeps it cool and safe for the racing track. That way you don't you get your temps too high. So yeah, that's my experience. That's the simplest way that I've been able to find to cool a turbo on the E46. Um, the M3 version might be different, but for the non-M M54 guys, that's the easiest way. It seems to work for me. I've never had any uh, turbo heat issues, so give it a shot.